The other day a viewer asked me whether I could make a video on joining two curves with a shared point and toggling between spline curve and the control point curve. Thanks a lot for this awesome command. Therefore let's look at both type of curves. So first the spline curve. If we start to draw right away. You will see and you will feel while drawing that it is a more automatic type of creating a curvature. And after pressing enter, plasticity creates according control points automatically. In comparison to that, you have more control when using the control point curve. So again, I click three times and I get what I click. So again, let's try the control point curve and draw something like this. And let's draw exactly the same curve with the spline curve. So therefore, let me first lock this one and do the same with the spline curve. I will click at exactly the same spots. And here you can already see that here is much more curvature stuff going on. Look at this. And again. Plasticity calculates the exact spots for the control points itself automatically. No matter if you have clicked on these spots you have used for the control point curve. So it's a more automatic type of approach. And now you can see the difference even better. That's the spline curve, that's the control point curve. And there is also another way to work with both tools in combination. So let's start again drawing a spline curve. And let's say after these two clicks you want to switch the control point curve. You can do that by pressing tab and now you are in the control point curve mode. And if I tap again I'm back in the spline curve mode. And if I tap again control point, tap spline curve. And if you press enter you stop drawing this curve. The curve will be generated in the mode in which you have been the last. So in this case I'm in the spline curve mode and if I press enter and if I go to control point mode you can see by the placement of these control points that it has created the spline curve for me. So if I again go ahead and lock this one and create a control point curve based on these control points let's see what we get. In this case it looks quite similar so if I try to follow the control points generated by the spline curve with the control point curve tool I will get a result which is more similar to the spline curve but if I try to do it the other way around like here I get a, a far more different result and let me show you by the way another thing this one joining two curves with the shared point and what happens if I double click on it after joining so let's say I want to join these two curves I select one of them press G and change the pivot with V so I can snap to this end point and if I again press G I can snap this end point to to this one if I press control at the same time and if I go to control point mode now you can see that this dot is green so they are connected perfectly I just need to join them so select the first curve the second curve press J and if I go to control point mode again and I want here a smooth continuity instead of this sharp transition I can simply double click on this dot there you go this double click affects also all these nearby control points. G for moving, V for changing the pivot point. Again, G, bring this guide to this end point, so this end point to this one, by pressing Ctrl, so it snaps. In edge mode, select both curves, join them and if I double click now in control point mode I have a smooth transition so that's a quite effective way of just laying out your basic curves and then connecting them with the smooth continuity